Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to a final boss video. Final boss Gallons and Mela is back and the actual top teams for this are not what I'm going to be using for just getting top 5. Those teams, I cannot be bothered. So I'm going to be using an off-brand team just to get it. What you're going to be seeing is Arthur, Escanor, Zaneri, and Jillian in the back. Because I'm thinking it's less RNG and that's also if you don't have like the other units built up that's an easy way to get into top five the shop as always you're gonna want to clear that out pretty easily so i'll have some farming teams at the end i have a possible two turn clear and some three turn auto teams for you in the ending of like after the run after the main run i show i'm just using this team to get a decent score all we basically need to do is just cleanse some debuffs and remove five buffs which becomes a problem for me for some reason like i've did multiple runs he cannot just pull a single cruel sun and it sucks because i can't get a better score by just removing the fifth buff it actually runs out before i can get it really really bad rng the run i'll show is the one right after this actually where i got multiple cruel suns easily so, which improves my score getting me into a proper position in top five So yeah, now the now the run where I actually pull more cruel suns to remove buffs, you know, where it actually decides to work out for me. Normally, I just go for straight to killing him because the more damage we do to him, the more points we can like rack up. Like you'll see to the side, we're getting like 40 points for like big hits, which is amazing. And we need to remove his buff before like he removes it himself before it weighs out. So that's the first buff. Because we only get one in the first phase and then we're going to pick up four in the second phase, which is pretty nice. And we already have the like all the cool sons we'll need. I don't know why, but while doing this, it took me multiple tries to get like two cruel sons to be drawn. It's really bad RNG. Like right here, I decided to kill him because I thought the buff was gonna run out, so I just straight up just shot it just to kill him. Because I don't wanna waste it. I just don't want to waste the opportunity of getting multiple cruel suns, so I just threw that shit instantly. Because sometimes I can't really tell where the buff is at. Because I think hers is like... It's more than three turns, so sometimes it, it looks kind of weird, so I just didn't want to take the risk. Just shot it forward and just took him out. May have wasted a turn though. Might have killed one turn too early. And then you're going to be repeating basically that... But you want to remove those three buffs before you actually kill him. You need to remove it. Just to get an easy top 5%, you know? You just need, you just need this. No real stress of having to compete with the big boys. And this part of the game you're at is basically just cleansing to get off debuff and hitting him just to stack points. To stack as many points as you need, you just need to kill before I think turn 8 and you're good. They can't really do any real damage to us, so it's fine. So as long as like you get a few Zaneri cards to like cleanse any debuffs, and 
the, some extra cruel suns, you should be good. And even if you don't get it, like you see the score is pretty reasonable. It's not too bad. And I did see like the same exact team, like it can get up to 7,200 points, which is pretty good. Considering you're not really using the meta team for it, you know? But this is like a more mediocre run where I actually got some good Cruel Sun RNG. That's the thing. I didn't get really a lot of good Cruel Sun RNG. So when I finally got it, we actually went up to basically 6.7k. It's pretty good. But, and that's just with the first time I actually seen like the Cruel Sun in play. And look at that. Six point basically seven is two point eight percent. And this is like when people already have like really really high scores. So that's probably gonna stay just like that until like it ends. Now to farming teams. Everyone's obviously gonna be an attack set. And the first team I'm showing is the possible two turn one. It's this one's not an auto. Like the only way we get them. On the two turn clear here is if they both attack us because albedo can kill but that's only if they attack two times in the final phase like it needs to be just like how you see it now both of them are using two attacks the auto team is, is pretty much three turns clear but this one is just impossible too I'm still going to be using an auto team because I could not be bothered for them to get like this RNG specifically. Because trust me, there was a time when they actually did not get like the proper hits. You know what? I'll actually show a run right after this. I will show a run to show when it goes bad because sometimes Galland will actually attack more than Mela and she just procs him and he can't die. He actually just can't die. So she needs to die before Galen. Otherwise, it's just going to make you stay around an extra turn. Like, look at this. Pretty bad, right? And the thing is, like, if maybe I was able to kill her first, we had a chance, but there's no chance. We straight up missed the crit, didn't kill her, and he attacks once, and he does not die. So either way, I'm going to be sticking around the next return. Not that it's a, lot, it's a lot more to do, you know, but you would rather have an auto team playing through than having to actually click it yourself. If it's going to be the same, if it's going to be the same three turns, you'd rather have the auto team. But yeah, this is the auto team I'm going to be using. Straight up Philo, Brunhild, Tier Auto. And you can replace Philo with Freya. So that, that works just fine. I'll show both teams. And there's one more auto team after that, which consists of Melly, Jelly King, and Festival Merlin. Pretty weird team, but it works, okay? I'll have footage in the ending of that, so if you want to see those, you can choose any farming team you like. All of these does it pretty easily. They do it with ease, with just attack gear and that card set. So yeah, hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night, y'all. Peace.